Real Radio 94.3, an iHeart Radio station. A mix of clouds and sunshine for your Sunday. 30% chance for scattered showers, mainly inland afternoon thunderstorms with highs near 90. From the CBS 12 Storm Track Center, I'm meteorologist Michael Ehrenberg for Real Radio. Real Radio 94.3. The following views are those of the host and not those of Clear Channel Broadcasting Licenses. Have you ever had a business? Have you ever had a business idea that you thought would be a great solution to tough challenges in today's world, but have no idea? The following views are those of the host and not those of Clear Channel Broadcasting Licenses. Have you gone to the doctor recently because of pain throughout your body for which there seems to be no relief? Introducing Dr. Anthony Pinozo. The Dr. Pinozo Sports and Medicine Hour will bring you a new technique to resolve painful issues throughout the body. Dr. Pinozo has worked with over 65,000 patients over 40 years and has developed a revolutionary approach to pain treatment. His treatment allows fast and effective treatment of pain without narcotics, surgery, and physical therapy. There is no manipulation or alternative approaches. Weight bearing and the return of normal range of motion without pain is the best kept secret this man has to deliver. So get ready to call in and ask all of your painful questions and get the answers you've been looking for. Now here's today's edition of Dr. Pinozo's Sports and Medicine Hour. Good morning, everybody. Happy Father's Day, Dr. P. Happy Father's Day, Freddie. And Winder, I all I can say is good to have you back. I didn't see you the last time. And happy Father's Day to all you people out there. And a special happy Father's Day to my friend Dan. Dan, it was a great day yesterday walking on the beach. So, Doc, what do you got planned for today? Well, I got to say happy Father's Day also. Thank you, sir. I think there's nothing as good as that. Oh, there's nothing as good as your children. Uh, uh, to take care of a family and watch them grow and um, uh, develop is uh, what we should be doing. Fantastic. And if yeah. anyone wants to call Dr. Pinoza today, yeah. let's get the calls early so we don't have right. you hanging at... at well, people are well, wondering about it. If the, uh, the announcer said if you have, if it's painful to ask a question, you have TMJ problems. <laughs> so, I mean, we got to correct that. That's anyway. <laughs> very funny. The well, you give a shot for that, so it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. Right. Services offered only in this office. Now, okay. that means a lot of people treat these, but in our office, we do a little extra. Okay. Uh, and to ensure that you're going to get pain relief. Remember, you have to have pain relief that day the day we treat. Or you else they can't leave. You can't leave the office until we do that. Uh, <clears throat> uh, um, uh, scoliosis. Yes, it's uh, a big all one. All scoliosis is painful. And uh, even though some will tell you not, that's not true, it's just that they uh, will not do certain activities uh, which are painful. So if you do a history, you can find that out. Migraine. We actually treat migraine. Migraine is the back of the head. I don't know if you can't see it, but I'm on the radio. But if you go to our uh, Pinozo.tv, you'll see it. Right there is migraine, and only there. So that's treatable. That's caused by a certain structure, which you have to know how to handle it, mm -hmm. and uh, we do. Right. And then you're, you're a witness to that. Oh, yes, we are. We're all witness yeah. to that. Uh, Everything we, I just want to interrupt you for a second. Everything that this man says, if anyone wants to challenge him, <laughs> you can challenge him at any time you want. We have documented, photographic, and everyone who... So I'm just letting you know. Call up and challenge him any time you want or set an appointment and we'll have a nice meeting. Well, I'm that, sorry. Well, that's true. Everything we talk about is true. It's true and uh, verifiable. You see, that's the only way to success. You have to be truthful. And if you can't be truthful, you shouldn't be talking. That's exactly I right. I say. And so everything we talk about, the results we get, all of that is true. Um, people call me up and they say, what do you do? That is the wrong question to ask. You never ask a, ta a doctor that has never seen you, what do you do? You have to know what you're treating. You, you can't uh, imagine anything. People right. should not be ignorant like that. You know, try to give the doctor a little credit for knowing something. Education, doctor. You've got to get examined, then you hear the story, and then you make up your mind then and there, not uh, before that on the phone. You can't do it that way. Uh, anyway, migraine, derotation of the vertebrae. A lot of pain is because there is a curvature. 
and you're bearing weight in the wrong place, we derotate those bones. Explain how you do that. I think that is that something. No, you, we can't explain. No, how can't you explain do that. it. No, you got to come in. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Doctor won't explain it. To you. <laughs> but uh, you you can actually see it happen. Okay. The ones that are not so bad, you, it'll happen right in front of your eyes. Otherwise, uh, it takes a couple of days, like overnight. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we use a fluoroscope a lot, and you can actually see it right on there. I mean, actually, no question that it happens. It. Yeah, yes, you actually saw it. Saw it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that film is going to be put on Penoso.tv uh, as soon as you uh, give us the okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, knee treatment. No surgery is ever required for the knees. Wow. I'll make that statement and I'll back it up. Wow, wow, wow. I was wow. reading here about um, ACL injury. The whole thing is garbage. I mean, if you read that, and this is the article. I mean, you guys see it. Yeah. Um, it says uh, increasing, if you have that, it's an increased ACL insufficiency. Uh, increasing functional and anatomic deterioration of the knee. Initial functional deficit may not be dramatic. Well, then. <laughs> I mean, you know, if you have an injury, it's dramatic. It's of course it is, it. and it's painful. Initial functional deficit may not be dramatic, but ACL instability predisposes to further injuries and deterioration of other knee structures. No. All the ACL does is hold your bones together. The cross ligaments, they're very small. They hold the femur and the tibia together, and that's all it does. Mm -hmm. uh, and you don't even need it. Why? Because outside of the knee, you have uh, a big, um, big ligament structure that holds those bones together. Okay. So you don't actually need that. As a matter of fact, my niece had that one time, and I said, don't do anything with it. Or they diagnosed it anyway. It's very hard to diagnose. I don't, I don't think the diagnosis is secure at all. And um, I said, don't do anything with it. It doesn't do anything but hold those bones together. Your major problem is outside. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a big ligament structure there. Right. And that's where all the problem is. It's not inside the knee. Well, we found that out with somebody that came into you. Well, we find it out every day. He had two, knee, uh, he had two problems with his knees. One he had done. Yeah. And then he, I said, well, I mean, before you go for the other one, I'd like you to meet Dr. Pinozo. He came in. Uh -huh. You gave him, I think, two shots. I think one on one side, one on the other, if I'm not mistaken. And guess what? He hasn't gone for knee surgery. And the one that you took care of is better than the one he was operating on. He still has problems with that. <laughs> yeah, well, once you get a scar, you know, yeah. it's very hard to get it back to normal. Because what does a scar do? Tight. Pulls tight. That's what it does. Right. And uh, so we have to loosen it. So it's, it's harder to do. Uh, hip treatment, the same thing. It's capsular pain. And a lot of times we can uh, arrange the weight bearing to take the pressure off of that. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, so we treat a lot of hips, and um, there's no therapy, no uh, treatments, no and drugs. No narcotics. And no narcotics at all, ever. Uh, so if anybody's contemplating hip surgery, they ought to try that. Mm -hmm. You'd be surprised what you can see. And we show you everything. The films, the special films we do, and by the way, the, these are special films that no one else does, and which tells us more because it's based on the engineering, the, the design and function, rather than the medical terms, which is degenerative joint disease or uh, no cartilage left. Well, there's a reason there's no cartilage left. One thing, it just compresses, and the other is that you have an abnormal weight bearing. So if you change that, the cartilage comes back. Elbow diagnosis and treatment. Yeah, we get great wow. results with that. Elbows, uh, wow. Yeah, we use the fluoroscope for that, and uh, we can analyze what you have. There are several parts of the elbow, and uh, we can uh, diagnose each and every part. <clears throat> uh, and fix it. And fix it. Uh, in fact, our uh, friend Bill uh, had oh, uh, yes. six, six orthopedists look at it. Nobody can help him. And a whole bunch of those other guys that saw it with a C. I don't want to mention them again. Uh, uh, <laughs> You know who you are out there. And he's a tennis player. <laughs> and it, which so, is uh, playing tennis now again, it, it thanks me, to you. It took me three uh, three visits to get it all. Yeah. But he had it for years, yeah. so that wasn't too bad. We tried to get it one day, one visit. Actually, he got the he got the area. We got the uh, uh, range of motion back on one visit each time. But um, the area that is the problem is kind of large, and right. we didn't get it to the end. No, no, so we every time, that. So every time you use it, the untreated area became symptomatic, and then we followed it up. Right now he's doing very well. He's playing tennis almost every weekend. Uh, you remember, these are all special things that we do. No one else does. Right. Golf swing, pain, physiology of the golf swing. 
I think we're the only ones that'll tell you what's causing your uh, golf swing to uh, deteriorate. Well, and, a golf pro doesn't have uh, musculoskeletal uh, studies. No, and I hope they do. I hope some of them ask me. i will gladly tell them because that's good for me too. You know, it's good for the golfer, it's good for the instructor, and good for me. We should work that way. Well, you uh, fi- you fixed our producer. Now he's able to play golf. How's your score though? The score is better. Okay, but right. not I, not where it should be, right? I, I should <laughs> have. Well, Freddie, I should have ten percent of the winnings now. You should. As soon as I start winning something. <laughs> well, we should have a high handicap. That'll help, right? Did I ever tell you that story about the? No. Uh, the, uh, I was. Uh, this was in Ohio when I worked there. I was in the in the um, on, on the golf swing, and then on the next fairway across from Trees was a doctor friend of mine. So right. he, he he called me over. He said, "Come on over here." He says, "I got this pain in my back." So I said, okay, uh, this was a Sunday. So I took him to the office and turned everything on and diagnosed him, and I s- took that pain away. I said, now, I want 10% of all the winnings. Of all the get. winnings, yeah. And I was just kidding, you know. Did 10%. you get it? <laughs> well, I thought he was a loser. I was not get 10, 10% of anything. So, <laughs> 10% zero was zero. So no the next Sunday we were playing, he came over and gave me $25 cash. He said, that's 10% of my winnings. <laughs> I thought it was a pretty good. They pay for high stakes, Freddie. You and I don't pay for those stakes. Uh, we pay for a beer, right? <laughs> I want to treat a professional golfer for 10%. percent Now I'll be okay. Well, you know, the bottom line is, I mean, you know, <clears throat> there's, there's two aspects of golf, which we've spoken about in this show for many, many weeks and months. It's the art of golf, and there's a physiology of golf. We do the uh, physiology. And, and let the pros uh, yeah. make their money on the other end. Pros, uh, pros know how to play the game. That's right. Which I don't know, and I no. don't. I don't purport to know. And that's something you don't have to worry about. Yeah. So we can tell you why your swing is lax, uh, is lapsing for you, that you can't get the distance back. Remember, it's uh, the anatomy. It's the shoulder, neck, dorsal, lumbar, knees, everything has to work in split-second accuracy. That's right. One after the other. So if it doesn't, then you've got a problem. Right. Now, uh, people are going to think they know how to do that. They don't. No. No, this is. <laughs> we did. Uh, we did a lot of research. Proprietary on it. information. And I've got to publish this. Gotta yes, we're it. we're all waiting for you to publish it so we can get on. Uh, so we could have people buy that from you. I think it's very important for people uh, to have. I don't have time anymore. I don't play. I don't play that much golf. But uh, anyway, shoulder diagnosis and treatment. Now, shoulder. Uh, we do a special exam for that. That's not what the orthopedists do. Uh, they're doing a surgical approach. We right. don't. We do a uh, a treatment approach. They don't do treatments. They do surgery, and I do treatments, and I do not do surgery. Okay. So, you know, that's a separation, and that's good for the patients. Okay, lumbar pain near 100% cure. Yeah, well, you're not allowed to leave the office without having the pain you walked in with. Right. I just want people to understand Six. the pain they walked in with. If you yeah, have a pain, pain the next day that had nothing to do with the pain you walked in, he can't cure that. With yeah. the pain. Right. Well, we get some people to yeah. call me up and say, oh, I'm worse. No, 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 you can't be worse. I've had these myself. Right. All the, all the treatments I'm talking about were tried on me first. And I've so seen that. So I know the, if I've they seen work you. or not. Yeah, I've and actually they work. been there. They're, they work. Absolutely work. Trust a doctor that gets his own shots from <laughs> somebody else, like from his son or his well, daughter. Well, it's interesting that I treat what everybody has. Right. I have it too. Yeah, musculoskeletal pain. Everybody has that. And I see you. I see your daughter or your son putting the needles in you. But I don't treat. Uh, okay. But I don't treat heart disease because I don't know anything right. about it. Right. I right. I don't treat liver disease. I don't know anything no. about it. Well, you're a specialist in what you do. But the specialist who treats heart disease doesn't know anything about heart disease if he doesn't have it himself. But right. you see, the reverse is there. I actually know what works uh, because we do it on me first. Well, that's the best way to try something. Yeah. Uh, let's see, flat feet and foot pain. Yeah, we treat that all the time. Flat feet, that's that's something. I, that could be cured. Yeah, it could be cured. Wow, yeah. that's amazing, isn't that's it? That's what I have. Yeah. We took and a lot of it. it's very painful. It took a lot of it away from you, didn't he? Or he did. Yeah, we uh, did a lot of uh, uh, a lot of research on that because uh, I thought that, uh, you know, it wasn't done right. There's too many people getting their big toes operated. And then, yeah. they, then they have feet that are flat like uh, flippers. You know, they just... Like that, and you can't walk with the flat. Uh, you can't walk. Now. You need an arch. Doctor's getting a little animated. He knows he's on TV, though, Freddie. Huh? He's really moving Must today. Must be all this caffeine. I'm telling know. you, we keep hitting him with caffeine. He's okay. Go ahead. Uh, so the big toes can be treated. The the big toe pain is actually not what you think. Mm-hmm. They don't describe it to you. There's a term they put on there, which is 
Flat feet. Helix valgus. You know, no, they, uh, but what it is is a joint capsule. It just stretches out like that, like that. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. Uh, and that's where the pain is. Right. So if you could take the pressure off of it, that's treatable. It'll go right back into normal range. And how many? How, how long does that take to do that uh, kind of shit with the flat feet? Right away. I mean, it's, really? Yeah. Wow. Well, I mean, it takes time for it to come back, but yeah. you could treat it right away. It's yeah. amazing. So you get re you get maybe not a cure immediately, but you know Release that pain. it's actually relieving that. Yeah. And that's what you know, and then you you're on the right track. That's right. Uh, now this. The announcer said 65,000 patients, it's 72,000. Uh, it should be a, probably more than 72 by now. And no lawsuits, and um, we're doing fantastic. Isn't it amazing to have that many people without a single, single lawsuit? I think lawsuit? that uh, we kind of created this niche that we're in. Mm -hmm. There isn't, uh, I don't think anybody actually does exactly what we do. Right. And it's all based on uh, design and function, uh, the anatomy, how it's made, uh, what was the design? What went wrong with it? Where is actually the pain produced? And uh, how to get rid of it. The, even the history and clinical exam that we do, especially tailored to me, mm -hmm. uh, because uh, uh, it's, it's called uh, commitment. You have to commit. If you can commit to a pain, I'll commit to treating that. And that's our bond together. That's why it's the doctor and the patient only. Mm -hmm. Nobody else is around. Uh, so that's a high-level treatment. Uh, people should take advantage of that. That oh. is, that is uh, you can't get any better than that, I don't think. No, I always say, Doc, let your second opinion be your first. If I could do better than that, I would. Well, I mean, there's <laughs> just, I mean, all I know is uh, from my experience with you, and I think Freddie will attest to this, we have not seen one patient that has not come out happy. The other thing is that um, uh, we don't prepare this show. No, we, none of us have notes. We just uh, talk. Les has to look things up, uh, wording and all that. But <laughs> to make sure I, that I don't get into trouble. I don't prepare anything. No. I just come in and I'll answer any question because yeah. I know everything. Should I have said that? <laughs> no, yeah. You should, well, you know everything about what you do. So if anyone wants to get a hold of Dr. Pedroza and see if that's true, what he just said, it calls on a hotline at 877-927-6969. That's 877-927-6969. And we're going to be taking a little break right now. We'll be back in about two minutes. And, again, happy Father's Day, everybody. Have you ever had a business idea that you thought would be a great solution to tough challenges in today's world but have no idea of how to get started? You don't want to waste investment money on ideas that just don't work. Introducing Health and Wealth Seminars, a sophisticated advertising agency with over 40 years in the ad business. What makes Health and Wealth different from other agencies is that they fit your product into the public's need. They help put together the strategy of your business before you commit thousands of of dollars just to find out that those ideas don't work. Health and Wealth Seminars carries advertising contracts, radio and television contracts, and even a production service contract that will cover all of your business needs. Call today, 954-303-9563, and let Health and Wealth Seminars carry your business to the next level. The number is 954-303-9563. And remember that what happens when you don't advertise is nothing. 954-303-9563 is the number you need to get your business started in the right direction. Pain is the body's way of telling you something is wrong. Surgery can do more harm than good. Pills can become addictive. Dr. Pinozo uses engineer concepts and weight-bearing physics to resolve this pain and get you greater range of motion. Call today to resolve all those old excuses the medical profession has given you up to now. Call 1-877-927-6969. And now, let's get back to today's show. Okay, Doc, you were talking about something that I interrupted you to take a break. So, you know, did you want to talk anything else? Or can I start asking you the really tough questions yeah, now? Yeah, no, we're, I did my primo presentation. Yes, you so did fantastic. Ahead. You know, there's a lot of us out there that we, that we call the weekend warrior. Uh, and I think someone's ringing now. I'm going to wait till they connect her. Um, the weekend warrior is that person that goes out and uh, on the weekends and, uh, and they decide that they want to do everything. And then the next day they wake up with lower back pains, and the lower back pain seems to be hurting them. What should they do? Well, hold it. Before you go there, let's, let's say hello to Dawn. 
Hey, Dawn, I'm going to have you in two seconds. Hello, Dawn. Hello. Uh, Dr. Pinozo's here to talk to you. Hi, how are you? Fine, thank you. So is there something you wanted to ask the doctor? Dawn, is there something you wanted to ask the doctor? Did I win? Is there something you wanted to ask Dr. Pinozo? No. You have a question. Well, I don't... I guess you forgot the question. Okay, no problem. Let's move on. Okay, sorry, Dawn, if you remember, call us back. <laughs> okay. Uh, one of the things I wanted to talk to you about is that weekend athlete that comes back after uh, playing a little softball now, his, his shoulder or his knee, something is wrong. What's well, he doing? Well, a, uh, a lot of weekend warriors that we call weekend uh, golfers, right. uh, they have other jobs. That's where they get hurt. Really? Yeah. It reflects in the golf swing because uh, the golf swing, as I uh, said before, is explicit. Every uh, piece of anatomy has to work in sequence to mm -hmm. get that club head out there. Uh, if anything's wrong, then the club head goes like this and like this, uh, and you'll miss the ball or you'll hit, a, um, uh, hit it to the right or hit it to the left. Now, the uh, golf instructors will give you other reasons for that. Of course. But uh, there are physiologic reasons for it also. Could so you? it's more than just a grip or lifting your head. That's oh, what I God, was told yes. all my life. I had a curvature, and I couldn't hit the ball no matter what. But no one picked it up because the, uh, the uh, PGA does not teach that. They don't teach anything about the medical. Not just the arts. They teach uh, the, the art, and uh, if you can't swing, then take more lessons, and they change your swing over a period of time, but it's very costly, and really, I don't know if it's necessary. Well, you know, the way I look at it, there's, uh, you know, golf, being a golfer, golfer, I mean, you know, I, I play the game. Being a golfer, a lot of people don't realize, especially the uh, guys that are giving lessons, that once you correct where a person can hit, drive a ball 200 yards because you were able to fix the physiological part of it, train, they're, now they're going to teach them how to get out of a sand trap if, if they work in conjunction. The, uh, the uh, PGA uh, instructors need to have a uh, clinical approach. Mm -hmm. They have to show the person what they should be swinging like and what they have to correct to get there. Right. But they don't. They'll take you the way you are. Now, for instance, uh, uh, if you can't swing the club here, they'll make you swing your hips. Well, that's not, uh, no. that's not taking care of the problem. No. That's creating another problem. Of course, you can put the damage the hips then. Uh, and uh, any pain, don't forget, uh, is inhibitory to your swing. Mm -hmm. It's called, we, in medicine, we call this pain inhibition weakness. That means it's not nerve, it's not muscle, it's a pain. Right. And it doesn't allow you to uh, traverse uh, normally like you, like you should. So uh, anyway, the, the weekend guys should keep this in mind and um, get that pain taken care of before mm -hmm. you go to the instructor. Sure. Uh, then you'll save a lot of time, and uh, it'll be better for you. So let me talk, let me talk to you about the, uh, a lot of these kids that were playing high-level sports. I mean, these softball girls that throw a ball 60 miles an hour. There's got to be some trouble they're having over a period of time that they're being treated for, but hopefully if someone could come see you, you might well, be able to you, help them. If you analyze their swing in slow motion, right. you'll see there's a dorsal component, a cervical component, and a shoulder component. Wow, who knew this? And there could be a lower back <laughs> right. and uh, hip also because they have to move. But the primary ones are between the shoulder blades and the shoulder. So if any pain occurs in that, they're not going to throw that ball 60 miles an hour. Uh, and they're going to be less effective. Right. And then, of course, uh, they're going to lose. But, um, yeah, those are all fixable. You have, to, you have to understand how the thing works before you can fix it. Mm -hmm. So I spent a lot of time... Finding out how it works. The cause of pain. The cause of the pain is extremely important, and it's a, it's a, it's design and function and a failure uh, to traverse, and you got to remember that. And it's not published, so I, I don't know how anybody else could come to that conclusion. You need a lot of experience to mm -hmm. do that. So we've been treating pain sources for you were treating a lot of athletes. Uh, Forty forty five plus years. Right. Then we went with um, Bob Tosky as a. Pro, I find out what he needs his mm -hmm. player to do, uh, and worked around it, and then we come up with it, and it works. We do uh, swing before treatment and after treatment on film, so you actually see it. And they could go to your website; they can see. They can. They, they can, can see, see it, it they right can there. See yeah. A yeah. golfer before he came in. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, it. It doesn't lie. 
It's yeah, those done. are those yeah. you, uh, people you see on there are real uh, professional golfers. Mm-hmm. That's what they do for a living. So if anyone wants to call in, I know it's Father's Day, and a lot of you might be out with your fathers. Uh, the, the, uh, uh, the instructors, you know, they, uh, they think they're going to have uh, uh, interfere with their science. Mm-hmm. Actually, there is no science there. No. It's the art of golf they're treating, and if they don't recognize that, I don't know what to tell you. Be, um, on a scientific basis, that's what it is. They probably make more money. There's no science to it. You know, science has to be uh, predictable and reproducible. Right. Uh, you can't just say, uh, you know, what you're going to do. You have to say, this is what we need for this. This is what mm-hmm. we do for that. And uh, do it again and again and again. And it should be successful all the time. That's a science. That is not the way it is in the golf. That is the art of golf. Remember, the art. Okay. We know that. I'm yep. telling you. And, again, if you want to talk to Dr. Pinozo today. There are many people who. <laughs> he doesn't want me to give the number. Well, there are many people who haven't listened before. I know. So that's you have why to we, repeat the same thing all... over and over again. <laughs> well, I think, I think we started with uh, 20 listeners. We're over yeah. 200,000. So all your new ones what? who want to get in, yeah, yeah, yeah you're becoming a uh, very listened-to person. <laughs> you call the hotline today at 877-927-6969. And if you want to talk to Dr. Pinozo after 12, after 12, you can call him on his direct line, which is 561 381 5800, where Dr. Pinozo always takes the calls, but I'd like you to call after 12, please. If you want to call before 12, call him at 877-927-6969. You know, it's really interesting that you brought up that subject about people listening, Mm -hmm. because we do other productions with other medical professionals, and this week, inflammation, the things that you're talking about for months, all of a sudden, everybody's talking about it now. Yeah. And I just get it's amazed. Amazing. Yeah. I just get amazed uh, how now they're attributing migraines to the spine. They're talking about inflammation around the joints and yada yada yada. yada. You've been saying this for months, as I've known for you. years. Yeah, years, yeah. not months. Years. Yeah, years. And all of a sudden, I see a giant leap towards the things that you've been saying. It's amazing. It is amazing. Well, I think people are getting smarter now, Freddie and, and Dr. Minoza. They're, they're trying to say, why should I go through all this pain? Everyone I know who's gone for back surgery and knee surgery is still in pain, and they're well, worse now. Well, you know, uh, you, you, can't, you can't be bashful about these things. No. Whatever works, you should do. The beneficiary is, is ultimately the, the patient. public, the yeah. patient. So uh, you make a living, but uh, actually they're benefiting. What, what I do for people, take their pain away for years and years, I mean, that's incalculable in 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 uh, uh, in value sure for them yeah I mean it's a it's a way you know there's a note saying it's not how long you live it's a quality of life quality of life why would pain uh, well also earning a living you yeah. know there's a lot of a lot of aspects of yeah. marriage you know you have to perform you know this and that there's so much to it I mean you now, I'm going to ask you a question, and I know the answer, but I could ask this question because I've done the research. Uh, okay. so <laughs> Trying to catch me again. <laughs> no, I'm not going to catch you. I'm trying to let the people out. Well, I'm going to say something. It might offend somebody, but if you don't believe me, you can go to www.jma, hit either scoliosis or any disease you want, and they'll tell you that mm. over 65,000 operations performed for back surgery were not, should not have been performed. Now... Doc, I know you and I always talk about chiropractic. To me, as a layman, is it possible that they could actually manipulate your body so they could fix the pain that these people come in with? No. And we know that as a fact. They know it, too. Okay. In fact, there was one, uh, I saw a chiropractor uh, trying to sell a cryovac. I don't know what that is. Well, it's the thing you lay on and it moves your pelvis. This oh, way okay. Before. And he said that he doesn't do manipulation. He implied that. He said he does his stretching. Okay, that tells you a lot right there. Right. Uh, first of all, you have to know where to manipulate. And so that means a diagnosis. So mm-hmm. that's a little rough. Right. And then you have to make sure it's the right side to manipulate because there's a two-sided issue there. So that's another problem. Mm-hmm. Um, the proper exam before and after the way I do it they don't do it that way oh uh, they'll uh, and a ligament if it's overstretched will be relieved of a pain temporarily and then the next day it comes back harder Wow! because it's wow, an wow. injured area and it wants to tighten what does a scar do tighten tightens, down, tightens see? down so uh, that's what you're uh, those are the things they're up against and it's uh, very difficult how do you get medication for anybody else how do you get medication into that small ligament you know how big they are don't you? yeah 
And it's this big, one inch by a half inch high. That's all. So they can't. They can't. They don't have the patented uh, machine that you have and the ability to see where the paint is coming from. All right. We uh, we can just uh, put a small shot in there and it mm -hmm. relieves it right now. Two cause, minutes. Cause of pain. The cause, cause of, of the pain. pain. Right. If it doesn't relieve it, that was not the cause of the pain. And Doc, uh, a lot of people that are tuning in now. You went to school where? Ohio State University. And you're, and you're an intern and a regular doctor with an MD and all oh, that stuff. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and you decide that you want to go into a different aspect to really learn the, the, the musculoskeletal body to help well, people. Well, uh, I uh, study physics, too, mm -hmm. and, and that's what pain is. It's a physics problem. It's right. a weight-bearing issue. It's not a medical problem. When somebody tells you you have arthritis, that doesn't mean anything. It's a term. It means a pain. It right. doesn't tell you anything about the source. The source is what you need. If somebody can't tell you the source, then you cannot be treated by them. It's a failure. I mean, same thing with me. I'm telling you how I run my office. Right. If I don't know the source of that, I'm going to tell you because I'm going to say you're not going to be successful. I'm not going to be successful until I know where it is. So if you don't have a good history, you don't have a good clinical exam, there's nothing to treat. I'll tell you that. And you did that to a couple I of people did. that we know. They came in, they said they had a pain, they, and you looked, uh, you looked, you couldn't find a pain. You couldn't said, find it, so I, I said, said, I can't well, treat you. Well, go out and get it. You know? <laughs> yeah, go out, fold down, come back, and we'll treat <laughs> no, you. No, we actually do that. We, if, you, if you have a pain somewhere, uh, we might send you out in the street to walk around until yeah. you get the pain and come back. <laughs> well, I've seen you tell people that they have pains in their legs and it's their back. Right. Uh, well, you have to know referral then, uh, but the examination of the back is positive, though. Correct. So it's no, no accident. I mean, it's actually there. And um, uh, so that's it. And there's no drugs that will treat that. Now, the drugs that people take, I mean, you got to be ashamed of yourself because they don't treat the area that's bothering you, if mm -hmm. there is any area. Uh, because all those drugs treat the brain, not the source of the pain. So why do that? Aspirin is your better drug, the only drug you should use. ASA, Bayer's aspirin. That's mm -hmm. it. So the thing is that I, I think people that are tuning in now are, are, are newbies. I'm trying to let them know exactly what it is that you do. I know we repeat it a lot, but we keep getting more and more listeners on every, every uh, single week. I, I, I want to go back to the scoliosis for people that haven't heard about scoliosis. Tell me how people are cured from scoliosis, that you're able to, and we have documentary proof. So everyone out there, if you don't believe us, come into the office and we'll show you documentary x-rays. All uh, scoliosis is due to trauma. Okay. Even when people deny it, they say well, they never hurt their back. That they is have. not true. The evidence is on the film. Mm -hmm. You say, you fell this way or that way, and um, maybe they'll remember it the next day. But it's always there. I mean, that's it. Trauma is it. It's a fall off a horse. It's a fall down the steps, slipping on the ice uh, in Florida. And they don't realize <laughs> it. Uh, and they don't, uh, well, they throw it off. Right. You know, it's embarrassing to fall, so you want to forget that as quick right. as you can. And I think that's probably the source of most of the memory loss. It's embarrassment. But, um, but it doesn't matter. That's what we treat. We treat the scar tissue based on the fall. Mm -hmm. So when you injure that ligament, it scars down and holds you there. So everything above that is a curve. That's simple. That's what scoliosis is. That's and, simple. And you've diagnosed now, it. Now, there is a uh, diagnosis, uh, I mean, a um, uh, system that's a uh, writing reflex that we have, which mm -hmm. means your head is always going to be at the sun, always. So your curvature is based on the fact that your head wants to.